everyone. We're live again at the Pace Studios. We're live now with Jamie Wyatt. Jamie, thank you for being here. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to see you in, uh, it was, uh, I guess it's kind of always rushed circumstances. We saw you at South by last year right. in that whirlwind of a crazy week so that I hardly remember, but for the video evidence that it happened. And uh, thank you for coming by here to the tape room and My playing pleasure. with us. And uh, yeah, I played Virginia last night, the long yeah. haul up here in Brooklyn Bowl tonight, supporting uh, Turnpike Troubadours. So thanks for fitting this in and taking some of your time to do this. Yeah, no problem. We got a good van sleep and uh, we made it here. Good. Well, everybody looks wonderful considering the fact that a van was slept in last night. So uh, um, so you're going to do uh, Felony Blues is the album that's out right now. You're going to do two songs from that and then we'll do, uh, I'm not going to spoil the surprise at all. There's another one that's not on uh, Felony Blues that you're going to play, but can you tell us what you're going to do first? Yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to do one off the record called uh, From Outer Space. I always dedicate it to all the weirdos out there.
right. That's thanks, a, dudes. Yeah, that's a great song. Thank you. I'm sure the weirdos out there appreciate it. The weirdos in here appreciate it. So thank right? you for uh, for playing good. that song. Yeah. Yeah. It's good um, to be weird. It is. It is. I'm embracing it. Yeah. Um, so you uh, are obviously at, from yesterday to today, as it proves. So Virginia last night, Brooklyn Bowl tonight, supporting the Turnpike yes. Troubadours. Um, you're uh, just a hard touring act. Um, can we talk a little bit about what that's been like? I know I mean, you've supported uh, recently Wheeler Walker and the old 97s, who both of whom have been in this room not that long ago. Um, and uh, can we just talk about about what it's been like for you to be out pretty much nonstop? It sounds like you got a little bit of a break between at least for Christmas, maybe. Hopefully you get to go home yeah, and, and hang I out got a little like bit. A week. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just a huge opportunity. Um, you just like for someone like me, I just I just jump when I get the opportunity because I, I don't know how long that's there. And I figure I'm young and have only dogs and uh so, you know, I mean, like... What kind of dogs you got? I have two French bulldogs. Nice. Good for you. Yeah. They're the did joy you of my meet, life. by any chance, when we crossed paths that first time at South By, did you meet the French bulldog named Larry Bird that lives at South By, at that um, Same Sky Studios? <laughs> I would remember that. Do you, yeah. The I, owner of that studio, David Messier, has a French bulldog. He's a Boston guy. By the way, he's in Austin now, but he named it Larry Bird, and that thing is adorable. Right, the basketball player? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could see how Frenchies would be good at, you know, basketball. That's a yeah. perfect vibe. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. Yeah, well, it's, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm glad for you that you got French Bulldogs, and I'm glad well, that you have two so they can be buddies and have their own universe apart from you when you're out on the road doing this. Well, exactly. That's why, we, that's why I got two, to be extra irresponsible. And um, I did name, uh, one of them is named after the Elton John so, um, do you see that Elton John tape player. right behind you? It's uh, no. one of the ones closest to the drums. We can geek out on these tapes after the session. There's, there's some Merle Haggard here. I there's, saw Haggard. I yeah. saw the Pretenders. I saw, I've seen Talking Heads right there. I mean, just like, it's crazy. yeah, the Elton John George is one Jones? of the, one of those. Yeah. Some George Jones. There's Loretta Lynn right up there, right behind the drums. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, all right, so you got Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bowls tonight uh, with Turnpike Troubadours. You've got a handful of dates uh, still with them. You guys are going to be in uh, at the Fillmore at Silver Springs, Maryland tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, is that right? I think. Tomorrow night, yeah. Yeah, and then you've got four shows also supporting uh, Charlie Crockett uh, leading up to New Year's between Oklahoma and Texas. So everybody who's watching right now, hopefully you get a chance to come out and see this, uh, see this band play live. Uh, you guys are great. I enjoy your band quite a bit. I'm a personal fan of you guys, so thanks for doing this. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what's coming up second? Oh, well, okay. This is probably, like, highly not recommended to do, but as, as a uh, <clears throat> professional... We're going to do this um, Christmas song we've never done and uh, that I wrote. And uh, it's, it's just about, like, uh, I don't know, like total delinquents uh, around Christmas time, right? Everybody has that family member. It's like, when's drunk Uncle Larry showing up? Will someone's purse get stolen? That type of thing. <laughs> um, so that's what this story's about. And it's called All Lit Up. So... Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, all the above. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can do this. Hey. Someone's on the rooftop, honey, and it ain't Santa Claus. It's the FBI or the DEA or maybe just the city cops. So I climbed down the bathroom window from the fifth star fire escape. Dodging bullets, I was blazing guns so I can make this history. My daddy fixed up a gin and tonic to help me ease my mind. My head was ringing like a jingle cocktail tasted like pine everybody wants to know why christmas but they don't really know the best snowflake is the one that makes its way right up my nose pick him again
for joy and glee and you know I'll be your girl if the mission sound I took an animation from ring and the goddamn bell so take the halls with all your family heirlooms and leave your doors unlocked well the pies are baking and the turkey's basting I'll be at that Picking, grinning Oh, you know I'm a sinner Turn me loose on that cookie tray Wishing, hoping Drinking and smoking That went great. How did you feel about that? I felt good about it. You know, it was all right. It's like <laughs> lately, you know, we don't know what kind of voice we're going to get. It's, it's, but uh, luckily, m my voice is the kind that uh, it's, it's already, it's always kind of gritty. Well, it sounded great. Um, can we can we talk a little bit about the um, and I I don't have any of this information in front of me, so I'm gonna find out at the same time everybody else does about sure. where uh, do you guys do this record in Nashville? Did you do it in L. A. Did you uh, Los uh, what, Angeles? It was done in L. A. Yeah, yeah. I was I assumed that you guys were all Nashville people, and I just read just now Los Angeles based, which kind of makes sense too. I mean, there's like I get that that Laurel Canyon, Linda Ronstadt kind of uh, Graham Parsons sort of vibe about, uh, yeah. about what you guys are up to. So either place makes equal sense, like the, the sunny Laurel Canyon vibe or that Nashville vibe. So I was just wondering whether the, the place that you guys chose to do it, most of the production and the songwriting and stuff, had a big influence on it, or do you feel like you would have sounded the same regardless of where the thing was done? No, I, I definitely, there's a difference in players and, you know, coast to coast. Um, so I, I do think that it sounds the way it does because... Um, just because where maybe we're being out west, um, you know, it's like uh, <laughs> I was joking around that like we take country and and ruin it, and uh, at least I do. So these guys, these guys do it proper. They do it proper, but they and they bring their own soul to this music. Um, these guys are Nashville based, and I'm lucky to have them with me. Uh, you guys should meet them actually, huh? Yeah, yeah, right? please. Is that all right? Yeah. Adam Duran. He, how old are you, Adam? I am. Where are you from? I'm from Oklahoma. All right. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. <laughs> Duran. And over here on drums, you're much older at, uh, oh, what, 24 now? 24. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Taylor Jones on drums. All right. I'm in Kentucky. Yeah. Right? Over here on bass, he's the apple of my eye. Bingo Stoner <laughs> on bass. Dude, is Dallas, that your government man. name, Bingo Stoner? Hopefully, Stoner's hopefully, I hope name. there's a birth certificate somewhere that says Bingo Stoner on it. <laughs> you see my driver's license? <laughs> That's a real last name, Stoner. Nice. Well, it sounds great what you guys are doing. Thanks, everybody, for doing this, especially on show day after a long haul last night. Um, so uh, in case you're just joining us, this um, Jamie Wyatt will be at Brooklyn Bowl tonight uh, supporting Turnpike Troubadours, the Fillmore in Silver Springs, Maryland, tomorrow night. And then there's a ton of... They're all up at jamiewyatt.com. I'm not going to just list right, every yeah. single tour date. There's a ton of them. Um, and so can you tell us what you're going to do third? We're going to do... Uh, we always end our sets... Um so we can be remembered this way, uh, with a prison song. Uh, Wasco State Prison is in California, it's by Bakersfield, and consequently this song is called Wasco. It's about, it's about well, my, my cellmate when I did my uh, little 
uh, stint in LA County. Sleepover camp. Yeah, sleepover yeah, camp. Yeah. Eight month sleepover camp. Yeah. Uh, camp. And <laughs> my roommate, who was my cellmate, um, met a dude that she fell in love with uh, in court. Like, just love at first sight. They'd never met. They just waved. Someone passed a kite, which is a, a note, right? <laughs> and, uh, they exchanged booking numbers and they're writing letters back and forth. And. Um, I'm the cellmate, so I get to hear everything because I don't have anything else to do, really, except for worry, maybe. Um, and uh, so they start planning their wedding uh, via letters. Like, they're, they're that hot and heavy in their romance. And, uh, yeah, so, so I, was, I was so moved by their love, by their courageous love. Uh, I don't know if they actually got married. Yeah, it's, but, I was going to say, it sounds like surefire recipe for success. I'm sure wherever right? they are out there, they're... That's what I was saying. Married two kids, picket fence, the whole deal. Well, and the whole premise just being like youth, rebellion, love. You can love whoever you want, you know, even a convict. And, uh, and, and basically the message being love wins. Anyways. So this is called Wasco. I'm going up to Wasco come graduation
All right. Thank you for coming and sharing those songs. And that's that gives me a whole new perspective on that song. So I, I've been listening to it a lot recently. It worked its way into my dream last night. I dreamt Wasco last night. Yeah. Yeah. And um, but I was I assumed I mean, I knew that you've lived uh, not necessarily strictly law abiding life so far just from having chatted at South by. I assume that you were in high school and on graduation day, you're going to go up and see your convict man, which sort of I mean, that's in line with my perception of well, you as a person also. But now live, that I know. Yeah. What it's I just actually compared. About. I just made that like metaphor between graduation day and getting out of prison yeah um and then just misspent youth which is my story but it's also someone else's story yeah well i like it better this way thank you for telling us the the meanings behind the song and sharing uh um two songs from felony blues and the christmas song too which went great i'm glad uh, <laughs> yeah. the world world premiere Definitely. here of the of the live iteration of it anyway and totally. uh uh cool thank you very much have a great show at brooklyn bowl tonight and at the fillmore in silver springs maryland tomorrow and all the shows supporting charlie crockett leading up to uh to new year's so uh, have great shows travel safely thanks very right, much man. thanks so much all right <laughs>